I consider myself a person who finished all Modern Warfare 3 Zombies after I was done with this all bosses solo challenge. It took all kinds of coordination and planning, I'll tell you what, it is doable and you can do it as well. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ghost X. welcome to another video of the channel. We all know that Modern Warfare 3 Zombies will not get new updates or continuation of its story mission, however we are getting small new event to be added next week as part of season 6. In this video you will find the most intense moments of this solo mission. I made it in partitions for you so you can skip ahead and watch what you like to watch. Obviously this is an hour and a half kind of video so I had to cut it multiple times to finally be around 30 minutes. Starting with tier 3 contracts, I literally was picking up bounties one after another for some reason and for the first time in a while my lobby was okay to the point that I was able to grab the contracts without a crazy competition or having other players stealing money that drops from mega abominations I could not resist but helping other players around who might be new to the game and especially the ones who are needing to be revived this game has a huge sense of community if I could say and I intend to do it that way and would love to see others do the same while we're getting ready for Black Ops 6. One of the funny things that happened during preparations for the worm fight and getting the USPs, people in the lobby were working on collecting them as well. So I was not sure if I should join them and save myself some space in my backpack or should I collect the USPs and have everyone else join me in the worm fight. Well, I didn't do either because I wanted to do this challenge solo and I'm glad that I collected the USPs on my own because this happened. They ended up not doing it at all. Okay, let's talk about the Stormcaller. I actually was very impressed with this Reclaimer and the build that I have on it. It really dropped the Stormcaller health this much and this quick. I will attach the build in a separate community post for you guys to see it. And I'm definitely taking this skull and selling it. One of the best strategies for a Warlord fight is to use your Scorcher if you're coming in with one. I know we go to Warlord or the castles or wherever to get wonder weapons but if you're coming in with one use it because it's gonna be effective and quick I'll let you guys watch this without commentary basically for the right worm I use the turret to save some jug suits until I plug in all the USBs this way was not working for some time but now it does work and I tried it twice successfully Red Worm fight will be times 1.5 speed. It was crazy and it's scary and I hope you guys enjoy it. The commentary will come back in the dark ether part.
all right guys welcome back so let's go ahead and do this poor contract so we can get the inhibitor out of it the reason i did not bring it with me because i didn't want it to take space in my rec sack so might as well just to grab it from here and uh get inhibitor and cancel the contract You know, sometimes when you grab a contract and you cancel it, might messes things up in terms of finding the key with the mangler. And that happened to me probably three times. And here we are, I lose one of my precious self-revives. And that started making things a little bit more difficult and more nerve-wracking. As you can see, I'm going through the maze without using the R4D detector. The reason I grab it is because I want to activate this part. But basically, you don't have to look at any of the arrows to move through. Well, I guess you have to uh, memorize the maze. And for this part, always make sure that you check for any boxes here on the floor for uh, self-revives, to be honest with you. Here we go, grabbing the USB, now the part where we go to the mangler. try to fly away from this area as soon as you can because there's hell a lot of zombies there behind you Okay, here we go. We got a mangler and we tried to get him to the outside so we can have a clear view uh, on shooting him. And we're gonna use the VR to flip some zombies and have some support uh, having them as mercs. For some reason, this mangler health did not drop as quick as I wanted it to be and my character felt a little bit laggy here. I mean, I can't complain really, I mean, I didn't have a black screen coming in, which is one of the, you know, best things to look for these days, not to have a black screen. And this fight is taking a little bit longer than it should. And here we go, I lose another precious self revive. And I think I have only one or two left at this point. The crazy part is I don't see the key and I have to rotate and flank and get rid of all of these zombies to get the key. I'll tell you what, this was crazy and I thought I'm going to lose the whole challenge. The key cannot be found. And here we go. Three self revives lost for nothing. So I was like, wait a second, before I revive myself, let me just double check. Is this the key? I gotta make sure that this is the key before I grab it and do a self revive. And here we go. Boy, and I was happy here, flying away, getting the key, and getting ready for the entity. You have no idea. Alright, so this is a triple speed run. Basically, I'm trying to show you that I looked everywhere for extra self-revive without any luck. And you know when you come in with all the self-revives that you have, and you don't have any space in your wreck sack, what would have happened? You will find self revives everywhere when you don't need them. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the entity. 
We are at the final part of the challenge. This was crazy, fun, and scary in the same time. I hope you guys find it entertaining. The speed of this clip is also times 1.5. I will leave you to watch without commentary. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate all your likes and subscribing to the channel. Yeah, this is one of the biggest challenges left to do before we start Black Ops 6 play next month. Cheers, guys, and I will see you in the next one.